Hey Clashers, we have our first attack alive and we want to dive into that first attack because we have Temper going in in the match Chessmate Gaming versus Strat. All of this is in the Castle Cup. This means it's an open qualifier for the Clash of Clans World Championship. This means a lot because overall in this competition there is one million dollar prize pool in the entire World Championship. So, we have a Queen Charge Lalo, nothing surprising. But as well, let's see how he's going to pull this off. Because I feel like Queen Judge Lalo is still so, so incredibly strong. Even though it is way harder than it was on the turn of 14. But those pros who can still pull it off, that just looks so impressive. So, can Temper pull this off? He has the... Okay, he's scouting if there's any traps. And right now, using that Flame Flinger to take down the Bitter Hut. He's already starting with a couple of Barbarians and... Archers and everything, those are deployed because of the striking the mortar. With that, this mortar is going to not like it's going to lock onto those barbarians and not onto this flame finger. This is the important thing. At the same time, we see already that clan castle is getting lured. Queen is taking down that uh, clan castle wonderfully, and now we have that flinger nicely dealing with the scatter shot. So there's already a lot of value for this flame finger. It just is. It's just so insane. I mean, watching those pros with that flame finger, it is incredible how much they can take out with that. Now turning everything invisible, so the queen is backtracking to the town hall. Really nicely done. As well, a bit of background story as well, because with the Chessman Gaming, we have a, a German-speaking team. And the craziest thing about Temper is that so far in the last couple of years, he always was too young to participate in the World Championship. But now, finally, he's old enough, and he's one of the star players, and he's one of the craziest players. And so far, the Queen Charge looks good, so I hope I'm not praising him too early. That Queen is looking nice and healthy. We have the Lalo in from the bottom side. The Hound is flying across. Everything looks great. Headhunters are coming in for the defending. Queen Warren ability is catching most of them. While the King is doing his thing at the top side, the Queen is getting wall break into the core. This is looking already beautiful with that Royal Champion shield getting used though. Is that a problem now? Is that a problem now? The Queen, I mean the Queen can even reach that scatter. What is going on? This is looking crushed to what I can see at the moment. Royal Champion still alive. Not with her ability, but being able to like push through the last couple of defenses. The Archtower is getting tanked with the Barbarian. He's doing everything he can to make this as big of an overkill as possible and this means we have Jasmic Gaming starting off with three stars. Let's double check if anyone else is live. That's no. The reason is this is again an open qualifier match which means it's a 30 minute match. No attacking time with the only exception. That's right. Two attacks have to be done before the 15 minute mark or have to be started. And we see now Jasmic Gaming being alive again with it looks like an Electro Titan attack. Still, one of the strongest ground surgery. I would say, in my opinion, the strongest ground surgery in the game. Um, even though people are trying to build against it, typically you can a lot of times still pull it off. Let's hope that this is not going to backfire on this call. But we're going to see and witness if Mac can pull this off. He has a pretty common approach, but the mortar is locking onto his flame finger. This is what you never want to happen, this should never happen because, well, this means a lot of hit points are lost already on this siege machine. This siege machine is pretty much the, the main the main reason on how you can take down that town hall. So, well, let's see if you can save this. Not the optimal start, but he now needs to pull. Like, none of those builders at least reach the town hall. This is, a good, like, this is good news already for him, but he now has to lure the warden back. Warden should hop over. Warden should hop. Oh, okay, now the Titans. Warden, what are you doing? There is the freeze. Can the Warden stay alive? What is that Warden doing? We have all of those Titans at the bottom side. Warden, come back. Finally. What? That's just crazy. That was really unlucky. Like, typically, the radius on like how you can attract the Warden to your main group is way bigger than his normal group, uh, like his normal range. And that was really unlucky, but hey, he lost one rage, but at least he got the tunnel. This is, this is the good news, right? So now he's jumping into the core. Warn ability right now. He has no rages, though. 
And the most important thing about those rages is not... It's not that you can rage up the Titans. It's a nice bonus. But the one main thing you want to have to happen is raging up the healers. Because just those five healers cannot keep those troops alive. You can see, they're just getting wrecked in their core. The raged up multi inferno towers. The, the, the defenses in general, the defending queen, everything around that top side just dealt too much damage. But if he would have a rage spell right there, this would rage up the healers and this would make sure that those troops are staying alive. So as I said, rage spells are most efficient in this strategy on the healers because the aura is not getting raged up of the titans. So it's mainly about the, um, about the healers on this one. So this is not going to end up being a three star, but because we were coming like getting closer to the 50 minute mark, a minute mark, Strat should be live as well. I think we should just hop over. We can all agree this is not going to get anywhere. It's not going to be a three star. Some percentage, but let's just double check. And yes, we can see there is both attackers live. We are going to double check the attack, which is already live, um, because there were zero stars. So it's more likely that it's going to be a full attack, right? We have already a couple of things happen. Lock launcher for the core. King for that scatter shot. Queen charge for the top side. It's going to be Kunchat Lalo again. From Hugo. Is this going to work? Wonderful freeze. Really great freeze timing. But that scatter has to go down. Is that scatter shot going to go down? The Phoenix is going to rise. The Phoenix is going to try his best. What is going to happen next? There is the war break already happening. The war break for that queen. So the queen can reach that monolith is this going to work queen ability w perfect queen ability force which means the queen can burst down that monolith before that invisi um, invisibility tower is like, going off oh, what's that phoenix doing that phoenix is just ignoring that scatter shot are you kidding now there's the tornado, tornado trap as well like things are looking not that good for hugo right now with the traps and everything and that that scatter on the back end, this might be a really big problem. He's trying his best. He has still the Royal Champion, but with that ground expo on the back end and all of those loons just disappear, that's a lot of damage. Take a look at how much damage this Royal Champion takes. Royal Champion Shield dealing quite a bit of damage, but that Queen of the Core, can she get through all of that quick enough? There is no Queen Ability left anymore. The Royal Champion going down. Now it's time. It's just a time thing. I mean, just imagine that scatter shot getting taken care of that Phoenix. This would have been an easy 3-star. But with that scatter shot staying alive, this is going to be high percentage. Maybe this is going to matter in the end. But so far, for now, Chance Mac is taking the lead. You can see the stats always below me. This is... Okay, Hugo. Yeah, both 2 star. Let's double check and wait for the next attack. And that's right. We're alive again. So, we have our next attack for a strut this time around. We have Rigo Taurus. As well, a Queen Shot Lalo Specialist. Coming in with the Queen Charge um, into the Town Hall. Then, where does he use the Flinger? Oh, is he going to play that on the outer fence? That would be pretty insane. Depending on the range... Depending on the range of the Royal Champion, this should be okay to take down... I'm not sure about the range of the Royal Champ. Let's see. Hero ranges are always feeling a bit strange. But if it's going to be, like, not a problem, he should be able to take down the Inferno Tower and that Scatter Shot. Let's see how that's going to turn out. For now, let's just take a look at how this Town Hall is getting charged. There's the Flame Finger staying alive, helping, doing everything he can. And it can reach... That multi Inferno Tower without, and that's the important thing, without the Roy Champion reaching the, um, this, the Flame Flinger right there. The Queen is keep charging everything. She can reach both multi Inferno Towers as well. Like, if that Flinger would not be there, the Queen could still, still like, take those out. But that Flinger is already getting so much value. There is now a Sneaky Goblin coming in. The reason why I did that Sneaky Goblin is, as well, just to make sure to check if there's any traps or something in front of that Flame Flinger. And we can see... Flame Flinger, if used by those pros, is just broken. It is just such a strong siege machine. I feel like every strategy which can set up this siege is already on its own and probably like a really high tier in like how strong the strategy is. And this is exactly, well, exactly what we can see right now. 
This this siege machine, without any support pretty much, took down already a multi inferno tower, a flame flinger, a uh, flame flinger, a multi inferno tower, a sweeper, and a scatter shot. And now taking down a defending hero with just the troops which came out of it. So that's kind of crazy. Queen used her ability. At this, po at this point, there's not much left. Depending on how this queen steps, she has to avoid those rage up X bows because there's no queen ability left. There's the Royal Champion coming in for the back end to make sure that this scatter on the back end is getting taken care of quickly. Rage up loots around the top side. There's the freeze. That should be um, one of the most cleanest three stars as well. Again, Temper and Rigatora is so far both with those Queen George Lalo three stars. What a wonderful attack to witness. And those Flame Fingers. Those Flame Fingers just look so broken. There's the Swag Phrase. The Royal Champion ability is not getting used. But this means it's going to be a three star for Strut. Now the question is, how does Chasmic Gaming keep going? Because they need those attacks as well. We have another attack live. Let's just jump into that because, as we said, we cannot see everything. It's a mass hog rider. What in the... This is not Cynthia. Why are we seeing hog riders? I mean, I, for some reason, I don't see hog riders work for anyone except Cynthia. In, I mean, let's see. We have to siege the battle drill around the bottom side. The hog riders... Oh boy, they just take so much damage. The heroes did not get that top Inferno Tower. And this means now we have two Inferno Towers to go. It's get a shot on the back end. I am not sure if this is going to work. The Royal Champ was placed really late. I'm, I'm surprised why. We have now the bats tanking that Monolith, which is kind of nice. But that uh, Siege Machine has to do a lot of work for this to work. And I just don't see this... I don't know, 3 starring. It's just not going to happen. He has, yes, the Siege, but it's opening now. The Royal Champion trying her best, but I don't think this is going to work. This is going to be a quite low percentage, it feels like. Not the attack Chess McGaming was hoping for. And this means a great defense for Strat. This is, well, a 2 star for sure, but this means for us, we're going to just wait for the last attack, for the next attacks. But I guess both teams will delay their attacks. So let's hope that we can witness as many different attacks as possible. But again, there is no cleanup troops on the right side. This is going to finish short. And we have now a 7-7. Seven to seven, But percentage are in favor of Strat. We are already live. We are live. It's the last minute of the match. Which means we're going to have a lot of life attacks. I'm going to try to show you as many as possible of those. And we have a Lalo attack again. It's not going to be a Queen Charge Lalo. But it's going to be a Lalo attack, and there's going to be a Blizzard Lalo. I love it. This angle should land onto that Axe Bow and avoid the Bomb Tower. There were no Black Mines. This is why he used those Rocket Loons. Wait a second. Can they walk around the corner? Is it going to happen, Wizards? Oh my, they're dodging that Town Hall Poison. This was insane. This was insane. I feel like you could just... I mean, the base looks pretty toxic. If you would just make sure that those walls are long enough that the wizards would run into the town of poison, this entire entry would have not worked at all. So, really nice base identification. I mean, crazy opening already. Now it's all about just following that up. I mean, Timtastic was known as one of the best Blizzard Lalo attackers in the world. I hope I don't jinx at this point, but... I feel like with this opening, he should be all right. He played a lot of Blizzard Lalo. He was really, really good with that. I feel like right now, he should be still to pull this off. We have the King, we have the Queen, everything pushing inside. There's some Rocket Loons with the Ice Golems coming out of that Clan Castle. Common, a common combination. Royal Champion going in. Invisibility Spell invested to make sure that multi Inferno Tower is going to go down. Double raged up multi Inferno Towers now. Warn Ability to protect them. Raged up Hatton has demolished that defending queen. Queen is going down. The Hound is popping as well. He needs to freeze that sweeper and the scatter together. Really nice freeze. The second sweeper is gone because of that queen. The queen is just taking the entire core. She has her ability still left. Royal Champion has her ability left. This is going to be a crazy overkill it looks like. Or is it? Yeah, it should be. What an attack. That was a beautiful attack to pull off. Oh my goodness. And this is why I said it. He's one of the best Blizzard Lalo attackers out there. I mean, 
He has tried to as well show different strategies, but he's just so good. Let's just double check the other attack. So we have more attacks happening. I feel like we should double check uh, this attack because we have showed already so many of the chance make gaming attacks, but I feel like, nope, this is going to fall short. So Strat is not going to get that three star. I think, or did, do I miss something? There's the rage. The queen is going to stay alive for a little bit longer, but I feel like, no, there is no army left. I mean, he's going to get more percentage. That's going to be fine. But three star is not going to be on the board. So I feel like, should we switch the next attack? I think, no, yes. Let's just switch to the next attack. I think that attack would not go anywhere. We have to say one attack with zero stars. Let's see how far this one is. We have General X in with a Z Titan. It looks like a Zap Titan attack. We have a really... Oh, that queen. The queen is staying behind that wall. It's super frustrating. Finally, the queen is down. Now the Titans are going for that town hall. But take a look at that town hall compartment. All of those troops are getting forced through that town of poison now. This is really bad news for them. And I feel like, yes, you can you can see the percentage below me, okay? So working with that, we can figure that already out. Like a three star is worth 20%. So now seeing that, Chazmak, this needs to three star or they lose. If this does not three star, they are going to lose because of percentage. It would be 12 to 12, but the percentage would be on favor of strut and i'm i don't think this is going yes the king ability yes but that much i'm from a tower is just getting avoided we have the roy champion trying her best to somehow move through all of those defenses but with 25 seconds this is not going to work he could use the headhunter but again even if he uses the headhunter the headhunter would not do a lot i mean that king would just hit it once and it, w it would be gone, right? So, yeah. Headhunter's there, but you can see now why the Headhunter was not really useful. Because King is hitting once and the Headhunter is just gone. So, yeah. This is going to be a time fail. And this means, based on this time fail, it's going to be Strut winning this match on percentage. What a crazy close match this was. Well, I hope you enjoyed this match. I will try to upload more and more uh, match content as well on this channel. I will try to have a nice mix between Legend and Pro matches. But well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow. Until then, see ya and bye-bye.